friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing with you my review of the Peter Thomas Roth Even Smoother Glycolic Retinol Resurfacing Peel Pads which look like this. <laughs> Peter Thomas Roth very generously sent these over as part of PR a while ago. I actually reviewed the serum first because it contains what I, I think is 15% glycolic acid complex. So I decided to take it easy first and review the serum. So I will link that review up above in case you missed it. But if you are new here, my name is Nadia and I am a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads. Peter Thomas Roth describes this as an intensive nighttime resurfacing 20% glycolic acid facial peel with 1.5% retinol. These no rinse overnight peel pads transform your skin overnight. You can find this at sephora.com and peterthomasroth.com. This jar contains 60 peel pads and this retails for $52, making each treatment about 86 cents per use. Peter Thomas Roth suggests that you gently glide a peel pad onto cleansed skin at night. You do not want to rinse this. To condition skin for use, you may start by using this once to twice per week as a way to boost your resurfacing routine. If your skin tolerates the peel well enough, you may gradually increase this to nightly use. As I have previously noted, I love a limited ingredients list. This contains about 18 ingredients in total uh, with about two average and no poor ingredients. We see a number of hydrating, anti-aging, and soothing ingredients paired alongside poor minimizing and anti-acne ingredients. A couple of the ingredients that do stand out to me are the glycolic acid, the retinol, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide. Glycolic acid is an ingredient that we've covered on this channel quite a bit. Glycolic acid improves the signs of aging, sun damage, uneven tone, textured skin, fine lines, and wrinkles. Similarly to lactic acid, glycolic acid also hydrates the skin. Seeing as glycolic acid is an AHA, it's got a smaller molecular size that may sensitize or irritate the skin. So to perform a patch test if you've got sensitive skin. However, if you've got sensitive skin, going in with 20% glycolic acid may be a bit of an issue. So perhaps you may want to actually start with the serum and work your way up to the peel pads. Retinol, I like to describe as a dynamic antioxidant that treats a number of skin concerns such as pore size, firmness, and elasticity, fine lines and wrinkles, and acne breakouts. Retinol tells your skin cells to behave as if they were younger and similar to glycolic acid, it also stimulates the production of hyaluronic acid, thus plumping and hydrating the skin. Retinol works very well in low concentrations. I've recently tested a burst retinol serum. In case you're interested in a more affordable, very gentle retinol-based serum, I will link my review up above. Niacinamide, which has been all over the rage recently, is also included within this formula. This will help to minimize the appearance of pores as it improves the appearance of dull, uneven tone. Niacinamide also strengthens, hydrates, and minimizes transepidermal water loss. The average ingredients here are sodium hydroxide and alcohol, both of which have the potential to irritate the skin when used in high concentrations. I personally did not experience a rash or any irritation from using this product, but if you have suffered a rash or irritation from using these ingredients in the past 
do perform a patch test or just avoid altogether. Alcohol is the second to last ingredient within this formula and when paired with vitamin C or retinol, it can actually help enhance the penetration of those ingredients in the skin a lot better. Always wear your sunscreen if you are using any alpha hydroxy acids um, or retinol, but again, you should be wearing your sunscreen all day, every day, rain or shine. I initially used this in February, but I didn't notice much of a difference in my skin, and I feel like it had a lot to do with the products I was testing during that time period, which made me reach for the serum instead. You should know that the retinol percentage is the same in the serum, 1.5%, but the glycolic acid percentages between the serum and the peel pads are completely different. The peel pads contain 20% glycolic acid complex and the serum contains 15%. On March 13th, I felt a mild tingle when I worked this over the skin. I applied the Water Drench Hyaluronic Glow Serum, which I don't have close to me right now. And I also applied the Oola Peptide Strength Trainer Moisturizer. I will link my review for that video up above in case you missed it. And I also used used the Six Golden Nourishing Face Oil. My skin woke up feeling incredibly smoother, brighter, and more luminous after use. And um, on my notes, I wrote that that is exactly what I expected from this serum. I did get that towards the end of that particular test. On March 17th, I noted that the pads are powerful and that I would suggest these to those who have used acid blends in the past before, retinol or glycolic acid, who are looking to improve clarity and texture as well as the signs of aging. Again, you definitely want to ease into using these. Start by using them, um, again, one time per week until you can perhaps use them up to three times per week. I'm not quite sure about using these every night. I feel like that would just be too much, but to each their own. That's just me and my conservative approach to skincare talking. I do suggest that you try sneaking in a hydrating routine in between the peel pads if you do want to use them every other night. I personally now think that I should have started with the peel pads, but the SD who takes a very conservative approach to skin decided to start with the serum because again it had that low glycolic acid complex percentage. On um, March 18th I noted a minimal glow with the Ula Enriksen peptide moisturizer and I noted more of a glow with the pharmacy 10% niacinamide night mask. Remember you can use my code at pharmacybeauty.com. It's Nadia20. It'll save you 20% off any Thing at the, the pharmacy beauty store. I do, however, make a small commission to help support my very small channel. I've used glycolic acid and retinol based products in the past, such as the serum version of this product or this release, and I enjoy the peel pads by a long shot. They are lazy, routine friendly. You want to cleanse, you want to tone, you want to peel pad, moisturize, and then you're ready to catch some Z's. I feel like these are going to be what deep sleep for me was in I think 2020 or 2021. I get very incredibly lazy with my nighttime routine during summer so sometimes I will just cleanse, tone, peel pad or deep sleep and go to bed. I must add however that this worked quite well in cooler temperatures. I feel like it didn't really um, overly dry or cause my skin to peel or flake. After using this overnight, my skin would wake up looking radiant, plumper, and pores looked a lot smaller. Skin felt smoother and my forehead looked incredible. Because these pads did not work with my new face boosters or after a lifting routine, um, I didn't use them with that. 
sadly. Uh, but this worked well with the uh, Water Drench Glow Serum. Uh, perhaps you want to infuse some hydration after using such a high percentage of glycolic acid. I did not use this during the day, but I did make sure to uh, apply my SPF during the day after use. Again, let's be real, you must apply your sunscreen every day to help protect your skin against the signs of aging and environmental damage. This worked very well with my niacinamide mask, my Oula Enrixin peptide moisturizer, my uh, Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula oil, and the Six Golden Nourishing Face Oil, which has been a, a favorite of mine this winter, spring. My favorite way to use this was by removing makeup with the Burst Makeup Removing Balm, then going in with the Drunk Elephant Best Jelly Cleanser, uh, applying some hydrating toner, uh, applying the peel pads over dry skin, and then following it with the Pharmacy Niacinamide Mask and the Drunk Elephant Oil. I absolutely loved, loved this combo. I feel like the results that I got from that combo were what I expected from the serum, but instead I got it from the peel pads. I did not use this more than twice a week. I feel like the serum, I definitely used it more than twice a week, uh, perhaps even four times a week. If I use this more than twice a week, I will update you all in the bottom bar as far as results are concerned. I did, however, use this kind of midweek to extend the results of the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial a couple of weeks ago, as I mentioned earlier, and my skin did not break out, get excessively dry, or become irritated. And I feel like it just extended the results of that baby facial. I would recommend this to anyone with combo dry, normal, and oily skin that's conditioned to a high concentration of glycolic acid and retinol as well. Um, if you are looking to improve on the signs of aging, dullness, uneven texture, and minimize breakouts. Uh, please consult your doc if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, as some do not recommend that you use glycolic or retinol while you are pregnant or breastfeeding. My pros here are that I loved using it with the Pharmacy Niacinamide Mask. I think I linked that up above already for you all. This pairing gave my skin the ultimate, ultimate glow. Um, I love the convenience of the pad as well. As mentioned earlier, I feel like it's definitely lazy, nighttime, skincare routine friendly. At 86 cents per use for a Peter Thomas Roth product, it feels like it's affordable for me. Um, and I loved overall how it improved my texture, it minimized the size of my pores, and diffused the signs of aging. It gave me the luminosity, again, that I wanted from the serum from the start. My cons here are that this does contain alcohol, so it may be a no-go for some. As an SD, we often use uh, products that contain alcohol to, to degrease the skin, especially for doing a chemical peel. So in low concentrations, I typically do not mind it. But I know and understand that we are all different and alcohol is a deal breaker for some, so I'm mentioning it for that reason. I am rating this an 8.5 out of 10. I am deducting one point for the alcohol and half a point for the two average ingredients. Overall, I enjoyed the results from this product. It is a very, very results driven. If you are dealing with dull skin, uneven texture, and the signs of aging, definitely check this out. Let me know if you have tried the Peter Thomas Roth Even Smoother Glycolic Retinol Resurfacing Peel Pads in the comments down below. We can discuss results, your experience with one another as well. That is all I have for you all today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. <gasps> Another area of concern for me.